comes to fashion and style, I know nothing about it, and I am pretty yeah. much... That's obvious. Can you see what you're wearing? Your own merch. Come on now. <laughs> Wait, aren't you wearing my own merch too? No. <laughs> and so today, joining me is my sister Sika. Hello. Because she loves to get her nails done. It's been a while. But I have good news for you today. Is that what we're doing? Are we going to the salon? No. Hmm. For today's video, we're going to be looking at three different nail art kits. One of them is from Toys R Us. And yes, here in Canada, we still have Toys R Us. I'm sorry, my Amerigrains. They were supposed to close down, but they didn't. They're probably going to close down here, though. And then I have two other nail kits, Nail Salon with Dryer and Glitter Galaxy that are for $5. So I'm curious whether the expensive one or the cheap one will perform better. Let me know in the comment section below, do you think the expensive one is going to be as poopy as the cheap ones? Or do you think it's going to be better? For those of you new to this channel, this series is called Cash or Trash, where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. And also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you! Don't make me do it. Unless you like it, then I'll do it. Our first victim... Glitter Galaxy Nail Design. The reason we started with this one, let them know, Sika, because we think it's gonna be a disaster for the spinning. Pretty sure we're gonna get nail polish everywhere. <laughs> You're already so salty about it. And the interesting thing about this is that the box is really hollow, but at the same time, it looks more galaxy color, but I guess we'll find out. The other thing that really caught our attention is that at the bottom of the box, it says, includes glow-in-the-dark paint. paint. This is nail art. Shouldn't we be getting nail polish? Let's find out. I'm watching you. Got my eyes on you. And so, time to see what we get inside. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Our mechanism spinny thing, which there's a button here. Sounds loud. But for $5, I am pretty impressed that we get a machine so far. We get four acrylic paints. I'm not sure if it's just the green one that goes in the dark or if it'll be all, so we're gonna check that out after. We also get a bunch of sets of fake plastic nails, and that's probably why we get acrylic paint. We get three packs of glitter. Trashy glitter. Trashy glitter. <laughs> that we probably won't be using because we don't want to wash that down the drain. A foamy thing, I guess, to secure the piece in. We get eight sets of nail adhesives. So in order to test out which one of these is glow in the dark, we put them under UV light light for one minute and now we're going to turn the lights off okay so it appears that the only one that's glowing in the dark is this one over here which is probably the green one my guess as well so as it is green. it's the green one so according to the instructions all we have to do is place our nail thing in the middle and then we're going to be using our acrylic paints putting one drop at a time and spin it at the same time it's going pretty quickly okay snap pretty good all right, so we are set up. Sika, we're gonna start with the darker color. Do you wanna spin or do you wanna put the drops? I'll spin. <laughs> okay, you just wanna press the button. Okay, let's see the consistency of this paint. Don't scrape it out and get it all over yourself now. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about the paint. And it is, it's thick. Pretty thick. Ooh, I don't know how that's gonna work. I guess we'll find out. All right, start spinning, girl. You ready? One drop at a time. Oh my God, it's so fast. Go. Okay, let's stop and see. <laughs> Didn't do much. Oh, that's still pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, but look, there's so much of it around. Too. Okay, let's do a little more, a little okay. more. Let's go. Let me get more into it. <laughs> Not too fast, though. Oh! I'm just gonna <laughs> hit in the face. Oh my gosh. Let me show you grain something. <laughs> These ones don't have anything to do with it. By the way, you can see on the inside that a lot of the paint is going here. So yeah. luckily they have a machine because probably would have gotten it on our faces. <laughs> It was like going off, I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> I think the strategy to try to get these ones is maybe to go a little lower. Uh, oh, what no. happened? Okay, let's try this again. It's stuck in the cap? Oh, okay, okay, there you go, you did. Okay, so in case you didn't see, this thing had come off. <laughs> so the strategy is, I will stay here. Ready? Go. I'm gonna try to move up and down. <laughs> it's flying off. Oh my god, okay, stop. How's it look? Oh, it's gross. Looks weird. <laughs> Alright, let's keep waiting. They say to wait about a minute between each layer so that it could dry, but... I don't think it'll dry in a minute. Mm -hmm. Because so far they look pretty clunky and, uh... Pfft. Let's spin a little harder. Maybe that'll flatten it. It worked! Time for pink. Oh my god, come on. Oh, droopy! Oh, my start? Yeah, go! I'm just gonna move my way up and down. I think we're good. Okay, go slowly. 
Hang on. I just want to see if we have enough pink everywhere. These ones really don't want anything. Well, I think it's just they're the smallest ones, right? So they're harder to catch, I guess. There. I go crazy. Wow! It really does feel like it's just going exactly in the same places and not covering anything at all. I think it's because they're rounded, so. We'll try the other one now. And so essentially what we decided to do is go back and forth between the darker and lighter colors until we were able to cover as much as possible from those nails. So here it is dried up. It is a little sticky, but my guess is hopefully it's going to dry up less sticky. So I wonder if we could just twist it off. I think maybe we should use a nail clipper. It's not going to be very smooth. Oh, there it is. You see what I mean? Mm. So as you can see, they pretty much look like abstract paintings. You don't have much of a choice where they go. And as a close up, it is pretty transparent. Let's put some on our fingers. There we go. All right, so we have the nail sheets. I'm going to go with this one. Do you know how to put them on or not yet? I have no idea. So I'm going to assume that we just put it on the nail like so. And then and we then peel, peel them off. And then stick the nail? I think so. Okay, so here's the nail sticker. And I'm going to put this one like so. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Ah, no. I look like I work hard at night. How do you look? I haven't put one on yet. Oh, okay. I'm going to put a couple on. This is so weird. It actually holds pretty well, I think. Hmm. I'll let you know if it holds well. I get my nails done all the time. Well, it's not gonna be great quality. It's five dollars. Uh, mm. All right, uh, we'll get back to you. Jackie, it's not coming off. <laughs> By the way, look at my fingers. I don't think I've ever had nails this big before. What are you doing? Let me try and pick something up here. How? Oh, the best is trying to text with long nails. It's just like click, 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 click. Let me try and text you. Yeah, you have to go with like the tips of your fingers. Oh, this is so terrible. How? How does anyone get anything done with nails? You get used to it. Should I make a sculpture with long nails? I feel like Jeffree Star. <laughs> I couldn't even get all my nails on. One of them just the glue wouldn't even set in, so it's kind of just chilling like that. And that's the thing that we noticed, is sometimes when you try to remove the tape, you either remove just the film that's holding it, or, or it just tears out for some reason. Exactly. So this was really a struggle. I think 80% of our time was trying to get the sticker out of the sticky thing. Yep, pretty much. So for $5, did it keep us busy? Yes! Did it give us nails? Yeah. Is it controllable? No. Is it cheap? Yeah. So for us, even though it's not the greatest product ever, for $5, it was mess free and it kind of worked. Crazy. So for me, it would be worth your, your cash. cash. My nail. Ah, no. <laughs> Definitely not for professional <laughs> results. I feel like I could fight with these. Cat nails. <laughs> Our next kit. <laughs> Also at $5, nail salon with nail dryer. Are you still wearing the nails? Yes, I am. Because splitters are quitters. No, no, don't take them. I want to keep them. I'm going to keep these as long as possible throughout the video because I've never had long nails before. You already lost one. I know I lost one. They fell off. So we know that the, the sticky thing doesn't stay too long. I'm just going to peel it off. Don't touch it. <laughs> and this nail salon with the nail dryer. I wonder how loud it is. I have no idea, but it does require two AA batteries, which I have. So they're not included? No, it's only $5. Calm down. I guess. Calm Acceptable. down. Okay. Calm down. And what's interesting is that it does come with three colors, even though two out of those three colors is pretty similar. There's like a beige pinkish. Coral? Yeah. I don't get my nails done. I don't know the colors. You're an artist. You should know your colors. That's what I thought. You don't even have a comeback, do you? I don't have a comeback. It does show that we should be able to use some kind of gems and stickers. And I don't know the terminology, but isn't that little tip that's a separate line, isn't that a, called a French tip? What does that have to do with anything? They don't have it there. Yeah, it's right there. French oh. tip. Anyways, it's called a French manicure, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm really curious how opaque and how many coats it's going to take of this nail polish to get it on our nails. So the only way to know is to see what's inside. You just scratched me with one of your nails. I know, and I don't even know how to open it. <laughs> Why do I have such a flat head? Oh, look at my nails. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. The, uh, ha the, the hair dryer. <laughs> the nail dryer, which I already put the battery in and it's supposed to dry this way. Oh, it's just a fan. It's blowing cold air. So for sure, whoever uses this is not going to get burnt. Interesting. We get one nail filer. Two pots of glitter. Three colors of nail polish. Pink, blue, coral. We also get little stickers and the instructional manual. All right, so first impression on these little bottles of nail polish. Yeah, okay, let's see. How do you open anything with these things? Oh, what happened to your oh, brush? Oh, that is wonky. Okay, so Excuse the first- your brush. That is so messed up. What's wrong with it? Someone should 
one didn't know how to put it in. Well, that looks really watery too. Okay, let's see the other brushes. Okay, yeah, that one's normal. Yeah, that one's fine. It looks very watery though. It does. It look says if we only need two coats, but I highly doubt it's gonna be only two coats. Yeah, I think we're gonna need at least four or five coats. This one looks good. Okay, so someone was having technical difficulties with their pink, but uh, the rest seems okay. So we're gonna try it both on my fake nails and on Sika's real nails, right? Right. <laughs> All right, since I will be doing a pink with gold tip, I'm going to... So trashy. It is so trashy. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. That's not too bad oh, so that far. Is pretty good, even with the wonky brush. Seems to be okay. Not bad. Mm, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. All right, let's see how many seconds it takes. Sika, put your timer on. Hold on. I have to admit that by keeping my hand down to push, my forearm is already getting annoyed because you have to push really hard. Hang on. You have to push really hard while you're on there. So it's not like it's an easy push or a button. You have to keep your finger down there and push with your entire shoulder and existence. Are you laughing at me? It's pretty dramatic. <laughs> it's not dramatic. I am being truthful. Your whole existence goes into that dry. I quit. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so it did take about one minute to dry under this machine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my second coat on here and then one coat on there and only put this one, the one that has two coats, under the dryer just to see if they both dry anyways around the same time. Who knows? Yeah. Am I not clever? That's very intelligent of you. Such smart. Much wow. All right, so it's been one minute under there and it's still tacky but pretty dry and this one also tacky but dry dry so the machine is a gimmick purely a gimmick but again it was only five dollars so yeah it's a pretty interesting machine for five bucks though you want to try it there's a lot of air coming out of it yeah i'll try it sorry <laughs> All right, so Sika's trying the coral color. Ooh. Oh, that looks pretty good. Feels like it's nicer on real nails than it does on acrylic. Or does it that feels mean? very watery though. The quality is like super liquid compared to what I'm used to. Well, obviously, this is not a salon, you know, right? Mm -hmm. So while Sika's hand drying, even though now we know that the hand drying is not needed, one of the things that we noticed is if you wanted a tip that has glitter on top, you can't do it with your own natural nails. Well, you could if you have long enough nails. Right, but if you don't have long enough nails, this technique is not available to you, right? Right, but so. you could sprinkle on the glitter. I couldn't forget well. <laughs> I'm sure Englishing is off. No. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do that with my uh, my long nails because I'm cooler. All right, I see how it is. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. My tips are wet. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter, Sika. Okay, and then I dip my tips. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so trashy. I know. Let me do my other tip. Dip my tip. Stop it, Sika. <laughs> dip my tip. Dip your tip in the dip glitter. My tip in the glitter. <laughs> Watch it blow off the glitter. No. <laughs> All right, so here are my dipped tips. They kind of look pretty cool, but again, you can't do this with this kit unless you have long nails. And the glitter. Is it staying on? It's mostly staying on. That's so. good. So I guess to keep it on, if you would want, you would have to just add an extra coat of uh, clear. From... Probably, but they don't give us clear coat. Yeah, so it would have to be from your own expenses. So I'm gonna try and peel it and see if it comes off easy or if it's something that actually sticks properly. So. It hasn't had a lot of time to dry, but it's still pretty hard to get off, actually. So it's not bad. I'm pretty sure if we let it dry longer, it would be a little bit harder to remove. But so far, it's really not that bad. And this is only one coat, too. So if I were to put two coats, I think it would be even more sturdy. Okay. So, now, the Wait, question. We didn't test the little stickers. Oh, yeah. I want the star. I wonder if they're going to take the form of the nail or just, like, stick funny. All right, so here's the sticker. Let's put it on. I don't know. Is this normal? No, you see it's sticking out right here. Oh, touch it. Oh, no. You see what I mean? <gasps> that is really sharp. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see if it was going to stick with the nail or it's going to stick out. But it does it. stay, though. Maybe it's just... Like, like, it's not coming off easily. Maybe that's just too much of a large sticker for your nail. I mean, I have a pretty big nail. Ignored. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm, I'm like, I'm trying not to, uh, what's the word, encourage the behavior. Even with a small star, it's not really working. So you can see that it's lifting right here. Ooh, that is still pretty sharp. Yeah. So maybe not using the stars would be good. Like maybe uh, the little dots or the, the heart would be better. Well, which comes to the verdict. For $5, this machine really isn't necessary. So if we remove this factor, essentially what we're getting are three tiny pots of nail polish. Nail polish? <laughs> Why you gotta make fun? Hey, you always rewind my stupidity <laughs> on the videos. Nail polish. 
and two pots of glitter because the stickers themselves don't really take the shape. So now this is the question. Is this worth five dollars? And for me, I think this kit is pretty gimmicky. It does work, but again, you need long nails to make some of those designs. So I would say that this one over here, for me, goes straight in the tree. <laughs> That was my thigh. I'm sorry. And for you, Sika? I'm having trouble. I mean, the whole kit is kind of interesting. I do really like the idea. No, I think it is garbage. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to make an excuse. I was going to try and make an excuse, but it's not working out for me. It's just that this is gimmicky. It's, yeah. I mean, if it actually worked properly, if it actually dried our nails faster, faster than in room air. I don't know how it is. Like, room air. Room air. I get what I'm saying. So essentially what she was saying, that this goes in the trash, in the in, garbage, in the banana. Ready? Yeah. In the trash! <laughs> Our next kit at $35 Canadian or $24 US, Go Glam Nail Stamper. This kit really caught my attention because it really shows that you can print really cute designs on your nails, so. I really like the bag, it's so adorable from what I can see so far. Yeah, as you guys can see, it does come with a carrying bag, which is pretty cute. It looks like it does have the designs that you can stamp. I think I, so, yeah. I could be wrong, but usually I'm not. Oh, look, it's a nail follower. Oh, yeah. Go Glam. The terrible sound. And this kit boasts that it can do 125 nails. That's quite a bit. That's like, what, 12 and a half hands? <laughs> 12 and a half, is that 12 and a half hands? And as you can see, the design on the box looks really cute. We get everything from a kitty cat, cupcake, unicorn, hearts, and flamingos. I want the unicorns. Really? I thought you would go kitty. No, not the unicorn. I want kitty then. Okay. Before we open it, we have a gem. Sika? What? They have a commercial. What? <laughs> Let's watch it together. Hey guys! We got huge news. Oh my gosh, what is it? Chloe, you literally know what it is. <laughs> so. That was one heck of a. That was I a roll. It's like a. Wow. wow. <laughs> that was a really awkward intro, but it seemed like. Okay, let, let's try this. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Sika, we're gonna record videos today. Oh my god, what are we recording? I just texted you <laughs> that we're doing this today. There we go. I was like, there. I was like, I roll it. When it comes to the editing of this video, I think it's pretty it's very amusing. It's very amusing. Both of us, we were watching like this. Heads up, you can only use Go Glam Polish for a Go Glam Mini. Pick your pattern pot. So this is really interesting. Apparently, we could only use. Did you zone out? <laughs> you totally zoned out. Okay, at least we know who they make this commercial for. So we can only use their nail polish with this. My guess is probably because it has some kind of adhesive the stampers can work for, but I guess we'll find out. Make sure your nails are a good length. This length will work. Okay, so according to the commercial, my nails are probably too long for this. What are you doing? What are you? My nails! No! Ah! I worked so hard for his nails! No! <laughs> Why are you laughing at my misery? Ooh, cute hearts. Cute. <laughs> so according again to the instructions, we should be pressing hard and fast. That's my cheek! I love them, they're so adorable. They're so adorable. Oh my god, Chloe, you have to do mine. This is mine. Oh. <laughs> Chloe, you have to do mine. That's friendship. First of all, the girl on the right side is absolutely intense. Let's demonstrate. Sika, what am I doing? <laughs> Why are you so scared? Sika, yeah, your hair is so nice. Please do mine. Please do mine. Please do mine. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it. It's okay. <laughs> Honestly, I watched the commercial. What are you doing? Get back here! I watched the commercial like twice, and it's really entertaining. I would recommend <laughs> you great editing. It is really good editing, and their energy, even though it's sometimes a little aqua taco, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. So kudos to those two girls. I will link them down below. Feel free to watch them. But with that said. Time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Blue and purple Go Glam nail polish. We also get a top coat. We get five pods in total. We have the cupcakes, the unicorns. <laughs> Here's that chip. Unicorn. Flamingos, little hearts. And for the last one, we have kitties. We also get the uh, device machine that you put your finger inside, and they do say to push pretty hard. And I did touch this over here, and it feels kind of like a squishy. So I don't think it's going to hurt you. I'd be so afraid our finger would get squished. <laughs> I know, but it's actually not bad at all. All right, so we're going to start by painting our nails. I'm going to alternate between the two. Sika? I was just going to do some purple. Basic. 
Yes, I am very basic. So first impression here. Oh, that is pretty liquidy. Looks really good. Ooh, it smells strong. Does it? All right, so let's do a quick sniff test since Sika says it smells bad. <coughs> oh, it smells acidic. It smells like rubbing alcohol. What do you mean rubbing alcohol? It smells like acid. Where did you smell acid? Okay, here, sniff it. Let me sniff yours. It's oh, like, like rubbing, rubbing alcohol. alcohol. Your nose is broken. They're both no, it's not like broken. Alcohol. My nose isn't broken. They both smell like rubbing alcohol. No, that one smells what weird. What does acid smell like, Jackie? Like pee. That's pneumonia. <laughs> Not pneumonia, ammonia. <laughs> it's pneumonia. <laughs> See, the teacher became this. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to alternate purple and blue. What are you going to do? I'm going to do three fingers. So purple, blue, purple. So you're alternating too? Yes. All right, so let's see first impression. See? Ooh, that is... That's not bad. That's quite a thick... Well, they said to make sure that it's really thin, so we're yeah, going to have to spread thin it. Layer. So I'm going to do one of each because I want to stamp one of each design. Oh my gosh. It's too thick. Yeah, I'm getting the polish ever but on my nail. <laughs> <laughs> According to their instructional video... There's a drawing dance. So we're not gonna do the whole dance though. You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> what are we starting with? We're just dancing, okay? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we need to insert the stamper in here. Voila. Alright, do you want me to stamp you? Yeah, please don't hurt me. Let me know if it touches you, okay? Okay. This is hard to do. You should stamp yourself. <laughs> do it! Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let go, let go, let go! And, oh, that is pretty cute, but we got some... <laughs> Over here. Because <laughs> there's nail polish down there. Oh, is there? Yeah, I had trouble doing my nails. Okay, let me try. How did it feel? The the rubber is pretty good, so you don't really feel it. It just kind of just like grabs your whole finger. Okay, let's try and... You see what I mean? Yeah. Although, I think we're not pushing hard enough because yeah. we're not getting it around our finger. So let's try again. You want to try a different one? Yeah, let's do another one. So here's the kitty cat one, and I'm going to press really hard this time. And release. I think we're still having trouble getting it on the sides. Yeah, I think we're still really having a hard time. It's only coming out right in the center, but not the whole nail. Maybe we're gonna need to push a little harder. Okay, you do it. Push harder this time. <laughs> you actually stood up for this. And yes, it's better. Oh, that is really cute. Okay. Yeah, so I think standing up actually helps. I almost put my whole weight onto that. <laughs> okay. All right, let's try next ones because there's a huge difference between mine on the left. Well, this is mine over here, and it doesn't really have the whole stamp. And this one that kind of takes the whole shape. Yeah, it's only really like really on the edges that you don't get as much, but it's a lot better than just the center. All right, let's try another one. And here's the hearts. A little bit of trouble on the left side. Yeah, still you have nail polish everywhere. Yeah, I'm not very good at doing nail polish. <laughs> Alright, my turn. Alright, and pressing harder. I think you're having trouble with the sides. Yeah, I'm still having a bit of a hard time. I find it helps when you put your other fingers here. Okay. So like, it helps it flatten out or else you're, you're kind of like sideways. Alright, next design. Alright, this is my tiniest nail, so it should, in theory, work. Put your other finger here. And pushing down hard. Eh. No, your finger's crooked. No! Here, there. <laughs> Did that work better? And it seems to have worked better. But then again, this might just be because it's a tiny nail. And cupcake into the biggest nail now. And go. And yeah, definitely way better. But you're going to have ends that have absolutely nothing. But is it cute? Yeah, totally cute. All right, so I tried two more times with the kitty nails. Having a little more experience. Use pretty much a lot of body weight. And I have quite a bit of body weight. And yeah, it's just not getting curves. Yeah, it's only getting the middle of, of the finger. So if... Nail. Finger nail. <laughs> so if you have curved nails, whereas you can see my thumb is actually a lot less curved than my other nails. So for someone who has nails who are... Nails who are curved? That are curved? Who is a person? My eyes are burning. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> so if your nails are curved, this stamp is absolute trash. Yeah, it's not for you if your nails aren't flat enough. It's really a bummer because I really wanted to love this kit. I mean, I do like the idea of the kit. Like you said, it's really just that the fact that it doesn't um, mold enough to your finger if it's curved. But apart from that, the stamps do come out clear. Yeah, and they're not like see-through. They could probably redesign it to make sure that, that it curves properly. Device. And then it are are you it. done interrupting me? And then me? it would be worth the $35, <laughs> you know? <laughs> To see if we can get louder. <laughs> what? <laughs> so if you are a person who has flatter nails, yeah, worth it. It would be worth it. Super cute. But if you have curves in if your you've nails, got curvy nails. <laughs> you got curvy nails. Then this kit would go. It is a bad nail. It made it. Yeah, barely. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> 
So even though we did test three different kinds of nail salon type kits, the only one that seemed to work okay, and it's not even the best, was the one with the spinny thing. So the Galaxy one. Our first one, pretty much. And I really would have loved the cool maker, but the, the flaw design. The, the, the flawed design? What's happening to my brain? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that one is just not made for curved nails. We really wanted that one to work out because we thought the idea was super cool, but it would need a bit of remodeling for certain yeah. nails. Especially because the stamps are really cute. Yeah, and they come out super colorful too. I was really afraid that they'd come out very uh, translucent, but they're not. So they just need to rework the machine. And the plastic itself doesn't feel like a cheap plastic. So yeah. cool maker, you had something going. You're, you're on to something. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to reach Sika, you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. And if you want to watch a previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, check it out down there. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.